good shit. And that's that. Alright, real quick, let's go over one last thing before I call it. Um, let me the warp gate real quick. So, with the heavies, I don't think aim is the issue with a lot of the heavies. I think what we're lacking right now is the movement. Okay? So, what that means is that. Yeah, I wish you guys go over here. Or did you want us warp gate? Yeah, warp gate real quick. Let's talk about something. So, uh, first rule, always be moving. Second rule, always keep your movement pattern perpendicular to the enemy's firing angle. All right, so basically, never be running towards or away from your enemy. Always be running diagonally at worst, okay? If you have to get away, go in diagonal lines. Do never run in a straight line away, okay? Roger. Okay. In addition to that, when you're ADAD and you never press W or S, all right, it makes you predictable, it gets you killed. Always just ADAD, okay? You want to pair that with burst firing, headshots, ADAD, and headshots, it's the meta, okay? Work on those two things, work on the movement, and work on just being a bit more aggressive with the heavies. Big problem I'm seeing is that a lot of times I see the medics more aggressive than the heavies. That's a big no-no. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I've, yep. I've basically stopped being Guilty. a medic because I'm I'm usually yep, yep, yep. leading. <laughs> usually say run in the fucking room. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bad too. Yep. So make sure that you guys, you know, you're gonna be playing heavy. Make sure that the mechs are in front of you. It's a bad thing. Be like either you tell the mech to get back or you run from the medic. All right. I like to shoot over their shoulder. I like meat shields. The mech shouldn't be your meat shield. <laughs> oh, the heavies are my meat shield. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty much it. Like, that's the biggest thing I think, is just the heavies. Get better with the lane control, get better with like the positioning, find the lanes quicker, can control them and work on the, just the movement. And the aim is well enough, you know, when it came into like just straight up slug fights, we kind of destroyed them. But a lot of times when it was kind of um, just a nebulous kind of brawl, where we were trying to move around the map, a lot of times the mags got in front of the heavies, and that, was, that wasn't good. But like the tech plant, when the heavies were put in a good position, you know, they fucking ran train. <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing, you know, like, um, fucking tech plants, use the dragon shit, it's good. But other yeah, than that, usually, instead of, instead of having our guys down on that, uh, a few steps lower on that landing, we'll, we'll have our guys on the railing above the stairwell. So basically, we're seating the, the stairwell to them, but we've got shots on them because they, it's really hard for them to, to turn around and be shooting up yeah, at yeah. us. And your yeah. heads are really exposed, so that's that's usually what we do on that. But we'll, we'll try to do the uh... yeah. The yeah, biggest, biggest thing with it is um, the crossfire that you get from one dragon to the other. True. Yep, yep. Like the biggest thing, you know, and the pounder maxes. Obviously, you guys really kind of do that with the pounder maxes. But like, never forget the pounders because Lepolos, like, how much shit did you just destroy in that tech plan? That was insane. Yeah. What? And like. Several maxes. Yeah. By the way, when you were uh, yesterday, we were we were playing in the I, bio lab. The bio lab we you said in. pounders. You guys ran over our two pounders that we had. We had like nine dudes on. Yeah, because we so had hacksaws. You had hacksaws, and they came. Yeah, up the fucking we were stairs. running uh, flak though. I think we should, if we'd have been running kinetic, we'd have been. Yeah, that you got run kinetic on the pounders. That's they also uh, they EMP'd and yeah. I think grenaded us. We had first. two squads of recursion on, so... Ah, uh, that explains some things. And, we and had, we I had mean, when you say nine, I think you really mean like seven, and yeah. I'm pretty sure one or two was something so else. The, the pounder is like, um... <laughs> that's the problem with like NC, is like, Scat Max will still win in CQC. Or actually, no, if you have a good pounder, pounder technically will win against everything but a hacksaw in CQC. Yeah, I can't take on a hacksaw. Exactly. But like, a good pounder can carry a squad, so I'm like, you know, I'd say definitely like, you know, some of you should definitely start like trying to find you know your inner inner max. <laughs> Black, we we will. Biggest hole right now, I'd say, both from you know playing with you guys now and fighting against you guys, is just the heavies for the most part. Like, um, just work on heavy survivability. The med kits should help a lot. Uh, the movement, the aggression of the heavies to control lanes and get into good positions. Um, other than that, like your medics are really good. Um, Pounder Max, obviously, just the fact that your TR 
means that pounders are at your disposal. Fucking love pounders. Um, and yeah, that's all the feedback I got. I'm gonna head out now. Okay. So, thank you right, for man. your time, Thank Mertz. you very much for coming over, and we yeah, will yeah. see you guys uh, tomorrow night, I guess. Oh yeah, it's 